to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Signed up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Victor. I'm an RPN, a registered psychiatric nurse. I'm registered with the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Ireland. You're welcome to Mental Health Nursing 101. First of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you to Legacy TV Dublin for allowing us to use their platform, Legacy TV Dublin Studio, to start our own playlist, Mental Health Nursing 101 playlist. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification button. Thank you very much. Now, today we're going to be talking about the transportation of the blood through the heart. The transportation of the blood through the heart. Let's assume this is the diagram of the heart. Now, you can see that this heart has four chambers. One chamber here, another one here, another one here, another one here. Those are the four chambers of the heart. And before we start at all, there are two main vessels that transport blood through the whole body, into the heart and out of the heart. So there are two main vessels. And the names of the vessels that I want us to know before we start is the vein. The number one is the vein. And what is the work of the vein? The vein transports blood to the heart. To the heart. And the second one is artery. So what is the work of the arteries? They transport blood away from the heart. They transport the blood away from the heart. A very simple tip for you to remember vein and artery is a is for artery, A is for away. A is for artery, A is for away. Then again, you can see that this diagram of the heart, you can see that about half of it is shaded in blue, while the other part is shaded in red. The reason for that is that the one that is shaded in blue is where the deoxygenated blood passes through. Deoxygenated blood. What do we mean by deoxygenated blood? Blood is known to carry nutrients into all parts of the body, okay? And one of the nutrients is oxygen. Then when the oxygen is being used up by the tissues or by the cells of the body, then the blood can be called the oxygenated blood because the oxygen in the blood has been used up. So when the oxygen in the blood is being used up, then it remains carbon dioxide, which is like a waste product but the oxygenated blood has oxygen. Now, let us talk about the transportation of the blood through the heart. Blood from the upper part of the body, they are being transported through a vein called superior vena cava. Let me write it here. That is superior vena cava. Blood from the upper part of the body, blood from the upper part of the body, they go in through the superior vena cava into the heart, while blood from the lower part of the body, from the lower part of the body, they go in through, one minute please. So blood from the lower part of the body, they go into the heart through what is called inferior, inferior vena cava. So blood from the upper part of the body go in through the superior vena cava while the blood from the lower part of the body goes in through the inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava is the largest vein in the body 
why the superior vena cava is the second largest vein in the body. Now, where does this vein lead to? They all go to the right atrium. That is the first chamber of the heart that houses the, um, the blood coming from all parts of the body. They go into the right atrium. Now, remember, the blood we're talking about is the deoxygenated blood. So when this right atrium is filled up, then blood is being moved or pushed down to another chamber of the heart called the right ventricle. Now, when the right atrium is filled up with blood, it is pushed down through a valve, through a valve to the right ventricle. What is the name of this valve? The name of the valve is called tricuspid, tricuspid valve. And what is the work or what is the function of the tricuspid valve? It is just to, it is not to allow blood from flowing back from right ventricle back to the right atrium. That is to say, when this place is filled up and blood from right atrium is being pushed through the valve to right ventricle, then this valve would not allow the blood to flow back. So it's, it's like a one-way direction. When blood flows through uh, the, from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve, then this valve will not allow the blood to move back into the right atrium. So when blood moves from the right atrium to the right ventricle, during the contraction of the heart, then blood is being forced to move through another valve, and the name of this valve is called pulmonary valve. Pulmonary valve. Remember, in anatomy, anything that is called pulmonary has to do with our lungs. Anything pulmonary has to do with our lungs. So, it goes, uh, blood is being forced through this pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery. We all know that majority of the arteries in our body carries oxygenated blood, but the only artery in the body that carries the oxygenated blood is the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery. Why is it called artery? Because it's transporting the blood away from the heart. It's transporting, it's transporting the blood away from the heart. And where is it going to? It's going to the lungs. Pulmonary artery, transporting blood, transporting the oxygenated blood away from the heart to the lungs. As you all know, lungs is the place where we, where we get our air, our oxygen. That is when we're breathing in and breathing out, we get our oxygen when we're breathing and we're breathing in. So the deoxygenated blood goes to the lungs and removes the CO2, the waste product, and gets oxygen. So when it gets oxygen, one minute. So, when the blood gets oxygen, then it is now oxygenated blood. Then, oxygenated blood from the lungs is being transported to the heart through pulmonary vein. That is why most of the vein in the body or all the vein in the body, they carry the oxygenated blood, but pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood. We call it vein because it's, it's transporting blood from the lungs towards the heart. And anything that carries blood or that transports blood towards the heart to the heart is called the vein. So now, this is called pulmonary vein because it's transporting the blood from the lungs to the heart. And where does it transport the blood to? 
We call that one left atrium. So, when oxygenated blood is being transported into the left atrium, and when the left atrium is filled up, then blood is pushed down to the left ventricle. Just like here, through another valve. And what is the function of that valve again? To disallow blood that has moved from the left atrium to the left ventricle not to be able to go back to the left atrium. That is the work of this valve. And what is the name of this valve? It is called, this one is tricuspid, this one is bicuspid. Bicuspid valve. Or you can call it mitral valve. Mitral valve, bicuspid valve or mitral valve. So now, so when blood is when blood moves from the left atrium to the left ventricle during contraction, then blood is forced to move into another vessel through another valve. The name of the valve is called aortic valve. The reason is that that valve is the Iota. That valve is the aorta. An aorta is an artery. So I would say aorta is the biggest or the largest artery in the body. So, and this one is aorta. It's an artery. It's an artery. Then we call this place the aortic arc. Aortic arc. So that is all these ones are just arteries that goes to every part of the body. So let's start from the beginning. Blood from the upper part of the body goes in through the superior vena cava. Blood from the lower part of the body goes in through the inferior vena cava and they all go into the right atrium. They are carrying the oxygenated blood that has been used, that the oxygen in the blood has been used by the cells and the um, like and the tissues of the body. So the remaining is carrying waste products that are being transported to the right atrium. When the right atrium is filled up, then blood is being moved through the tricuspid valve. Blood is being moved to the right ventricle. Then when blood is in the right ventricle, during contraction, blood is forced through the pulmonary valve to the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery because it's going away the blood is going away the vessel is taking blood away from the heart and remember any vessel that is taking blood away from the heart is called an artery so now pulmonary artery goes to the lungs and blood that goes to the lungs will remove its um, uh, its co2 its carbon dioxide and gets oxygen so when it gets oxygen then Another vessel called pulmonary vein transports oxygenated blood to the heart. Remember, veins are the ones that carry or that transport blood to the heart. So we call it pulmonary vein. When they get to the heart, it goes directly into the left atrium. When the left atrium is filled up, then uh, oxygenated blood is pushed through bicuspid valve to the left ventricle. In the left ventricle, during contraction, blood is forced through aortic valve to an artery called aorta. And it goes like that from the aorta, oxygenated blood goes to every other part of the body. I think that is the transportation of the blood through the human heart. Another uh, tip for you, because sometimes it might be very easy to forget which one comes forward? Try tricuspid valve or the bicuspid valve. Which one comes forward? What I used to remember those days was I'll say, try before you buy. You try something before you buy it. That is, try before you, you buy. So that would be tricuspid valve comes first before the last one, the buy. So, if you're being asked the names of the valves in the human heart, in the heart, we have the tricuspid valve, we have the pulmonary valve, we have the aortic valve, 
and we have the mitral valve or bicuspid valve. And the deoxygenated blood that the, is the blood that has been, that the oxygen in it has been used up. Why oxygenated blood is the blood that just came from the lungs that has oxygen and the arteries transport the blood to every part of the body for the oxygen to be used up or for the nutrients in the oxygenated blood to be used up by the cells of the body and by the tissues of the body. So once again, my name is Victor and I would say continue to watch Mental Health Nursing 101. Thank you very much. To be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss.